So after watching a couple YouTube videos, I wanted to uh, make a, a six meter uh, J pole rolled up. And so uh, basically what I did was I had obtained some uh, window line uh, from HRO and proceeded to make an antenna. I went online uh, to a website uh, and we're looking up different, uh, it's a six meter uh, J pole calculator. And so put in a bunch of figures in there and uh, got some measurements in order to make the, uh, the ladder line itself and, and uh, the, make the uh, J-pole adjustments. And so let me show you what I did. Uh, basically at the end here, uh, you cut the end and, whoops, that's out of focus, sorry about that. You cut the end and you solder the two end pieces together and you make a short between both sides. And then I wrapped that with electrical tape just to uh, keep uh, it out of the snow and everything. Uh, I made an extension of window line here. And that's connected on uh, the antenna. And then I have the two uh, ends going into uh, binding posts. Uh, here, we expose a bit of the line here because uh, you weren't sure where this feed point was going to be soldered on. And so we had enough exposed so that when we put it on there and we were checking SWR, we could either go back or, or forward for the connection post uh, connection point before soldering so we'd know exactly where uh, the lowest SWR was on that where we put the connector. Uh, then basically the ladder line uh, continues on and there's again a set determination of the amount of ladder line. Uh, once you get up to the end of it, you're going to have uh, one side just going to terminate on its own. The other side is going to be connected to just some standard uh, continuing resonant wire. And that should be uh, the entirety of this is a half wavelength. And so as I pull that wire up, it's just going to kind of go uh, long ways until basically I get to the end. Now I uh, terminated it, it's just wire that just stops at the end. Uh, that ring terminal is not actually affixed to the wire itself. I, uh, I pinched it on there just as a, a way to hoist it up into the tree. So that ring terminal serves no purpose. It's not connected to the wire other than it's crimped on the outer sheath in order to tie uh, a rope or something through the end of it and be able to hoist it then up in, into the tree. And so let me lay the whole thing out so you can see it all together. All right, so I've laid the whole thing out on the ground just so you get an idea of the distance and the length. Got the backpack there for comparison size. So this is my feed point, the shorted end of the J-pole at the bottom, uh, my ladder line extension to my binding post to B and C, and then backpack here on the ground. And then you have the ladder line piece terminate here and then continue on up there to my any tone. And so again, just for size, so you see where the end of the, uh, the line is. So looking back at the whole thing, uh, that is the entirety of that rolled up J pole for six meters. So let's see if we can get this thing on the air. Okay, here's the setup that I have outside. I've got the Yesu 857D and it is on six meters. And I've got my uh, SWR power meter on the top, the LDG Z100 Plus tuner, and power supply. And that's a 12 amp hour battery. Got the VHF antenna just sitting on top of it just for somewhere to place it. Uh, got all the wires hooked up. And then I'm running my coax up here into the tree at the feed point of where I put this six meter antenna. And the feed point is about 15 feet off the ground. And the rest of the six meters extends up to the top of the tree. So probably up another uh, 12, 15 feet. Hey guys, Ham Solo here. Kilo Zero Foxtrot Yankee Romeo. I am doing a six meter test. I built the six meter antenna and now I'm gonna try it out. I'm sitting outside on the side of the house. Uh, grabbed the first jacket I saw, so sorry it's this one. Uh, got another uh, big sweatshirt underneath it. 
it's a little bit cold not too bad but it's, a, it's really windy like always and so uh let's see if we can uh, get this thing on the air and uh, see how six meters goes got my uh yesu ft 857 uh d on the table i will show you uh, obviously the uh, build of the antenna uh at some point and so if that part has already happened in the video then we should know I'm going to go down to 10 watts so I'm on 10 watts right now got the uh, J-pole tuned I'm pretty much sitting in an S0 so uh, noise floor on the radio is like S0 so I know that's good so let's see if I can get a hold of my uh, my partner that's helping me test his name is Tim K0CKR he's been doing a lot of uh, JS8 uh, training with us uh, trying to get everybody up to speed and so just seeing if he's available Kilo Zero Charlie Kilo Romeo K Zero FYR All right, sir, I'm sitting up on the side of the house. I've got the antenna up uh, about, I think my feed point is 15 feet off the ground and the rest of it's higher than that. Uh, I am on uh, 52 megahertz. Copy that, I'm sitting there waiting as well. All right, let's give her a try and uh, see what we can do. Um, QSY over to six megahertz, upper side band 52.0. watts all right got the radio set to 100 watts <clears throat> and let's see what happens k0 ckr k0 fyr on 52 megahertz I think uh, yours has that sound as well. I'm uh, exactly on 52.000.00. Okay, this is K0FYR. I am on 52 megahertz upper side man. Uh, this is a test of a six meter J pole, rolled up J pole. Uh, feed point of mine is about 15 feet off the ground, and the rest of the uh, six meters is going straight up uh, to a tree right above it, attached by a length of rope. K0FYR. Okay, I got you. Uh... Uh, really good. Uh, uh, the audio is uh, perfectly readable, a bit noisy, but still great. I was able to fine tune you in. Um, let's see. <laughs> 80.080, that would be hertz, I believe, offset upper. So I'm at 52.000.080, and you can go for the sound. Uh, the distortion went away from your from your audio, so uh, where you're at is uh, is appropriate. Does mine still sound the same? Hi, it sounds good and clear. Yes, sir, you are perfectly clear right now. I'm still at five two dot all zeros. Okay, interesting. Don't know what uh, what that squeak was needed for, but anyway, what's uh, my, my signal report at your end? Uh, you're giving me about an S7 on my uh, meter. I have an S0 background, and you're about an S7. Okay, I've got about a 
about a, a close to an F zero background also, and you're you're getting up to about an F two. Okay, received. I think you said uh, I was getting at an S two. I'm putting out uh, right now. It looks like right at a hundred watts. Copy that. Yeah, uh, QSL on the S two. That's not what I'm getting. But again, with the background noise so low, uh, you're perfectly readable. Yeah, Roger, Roger. Uh, so I have it uh, again connected uh, with that BNC uh, to the ladder line, and then I have basically just uh, 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 BNC female to female barrel going into my 20 foot coax tying right into the back of the radio. What's your radio showing for your SWR now? Uh, SWR is uh, 1.1. That's pretty darn good. Okay, well, uh, definite improvement. I sent you an email with some pictures of my uh, uh, construction and also uh, pictures from the Nano VNA SWR plate. It was amazing how easy it was to make this antenna. You've got a, uh, yeah, it was just amazing um, and seems to be working pretty well. Yeah, you're definitely clear as a bell. I'm getting you uh, crystal clear. Let me see if I turn down to 50 watts. Let's see if that makes any difference. K0 CKR, K0 FYR on 52 megahertz at 50 watts. For FYR, so CKR, you definitely dropped a bit, but still perfectly readable. I am currently also at 50 watts. I just dropped. Okay, yeah, Roger, I got you now. Probably between S4 and S5. You know, um, I'm not sure if there's anything else uh, that we want to test right now. Uh, do you want to see if it'll do FM like this? Sure, we can give it a shot. I just boosted it back up to 100 watts. So if you're going to try FM, I would uh, recommend that you do that as well. Received. Uh, going to 100 watts and then moving to FM. <laughs> K0CKR, K0FYR on 5.2 megahertz FM. Copy you pretty well, not quite as good as uh, SSB or USB, but uh, still uh, very clear and readable. How's my mind doing? Actually, like this, you are clear as a bell, and I don't have the background static when you talk. Well, isn't that interesting? <laughs> okay, um, good. Uh, I'm glad we tried it out. Um, pretty, uh, pretty optimistic about this antenna. Yeah, no, it sounds good. I'm, I'm, I mean, you are perfectly clear. I'm uh, recording it, so I'll probably be able to send you the video. Hey guys, so there you have it. There is a six meter rolled up J pole, and how you get the thing up on the air. And so again, uh, hoisting it up, I, I had it maybe 20, 20 to 25 feet off the ground total distance, and we saw that I was able to get. Uh, out and get on the air with it and uh, using the binding post and then where we uh, confirmed the SWR uh, on where the uh, connector point was before we soldered it and so we've got a working uh, six meter J pole now and I'm going to try it uh, when I go out on the next POTA uh, it, with the six meter repeater that's in the area and see if I can get on the air. I'm not sure if that's going to be before uh, South Dakota uh, when I go to Mount Rushmore but uh, That'll be another uh, another test to do in the in the interim, and so appreciate you watching. Uh, check out the uh, description below, uh, both for the website that had the calculator to make the six meter J pole. Now we're a little bit off of the measurements, uh, based simply on where our lowest SWR reading was in the band, and so we were using a Nano VNA. And uh, we found the best uh, point on the uh, on the antenna for connection, and so it's just a little bit off. I'll try to put the figures that I ended up with uh, on 
on the uh, also in the description but i know for sure that it is a little bit off of what the calculator was not a whole bunch but enough that i wanted to make sure that i had the lowest swr uh, when i tried it yesterday i still got a 1 to 1.1 or so even without the tuner and so it is a six meter resonant j pole and so appreciate you watching again this is ham solo k0 fyr 73